Hi, good. In this video, I'll show you how to use the interface to create a server for Assetto Corsa Competizione. To begin with, we will navigate to the Options tab. So, in the vicinity, what do we perceive and take note of? The name of the server with which it will be displayed in the server list, the category of the car. Usually, I keep this as the default setting in every car, so that in this manner, when we want to make an event, we can select it from that location. And then these three values, very important to be able to see the server in the server list, because if we set this value higher than ours, we will not be able to enter the server or we will not see the server in the list. Usually I leave it in a medal and 15 points and 15 points. By doing this, the majority of individuals can easily access a set of Corsa after completing a few laps. The password for the server, the password to enter as a spectator, and the password to enter as an administrator are all required. If we input this password while logging into the server, we will have the ability to utilize the commands for penalizing individuals for switching sessions. Well, we will have the capability to utilize all the available commands. What else? Then the maximum number of cars that are allowed. How significant? It is not the highest number of drivers because, for instance, we can conduct a race with 20 cars but have 50 drivers on the server waiting to go out and drive or functioning as track engineers, all right? After, well, there are many options. We'll, we will make a more detailed video about this, but for now, those are the most important ones along with the topic of ports. Look, here are the server ports. We have already configured all of this prior to sending it over to the server for further processing. So you don't need to touch anything. Important, if you touch this, the server will lose access to the internet and the session will not be available, okay? Then, well, we descend all the way and we possess the save button, okay? This has been an extremely rapid review process. Now let's take a look at how to create a quick event. We'll go to quick event and here we can select the track that we want. Initially, we have the default tracks Subsequently, we have all the paid content, all right? For example, in this case, we will put SPA. And here we will have, for example, the qualify, well, the time of day it will start, the speed at which time will advance, and then the duration of the session. And the same goes for the race. And then if we want to create a custom input list, that is, each pilot has their own custom model, then we will have to create a list, okay? I already have this one I created as an example with a partner, but we would give it an open entry list so that everyone can enter and we would give it a start. Great. The server is already starting here. Okay. Don't be alarmed. It's not an error. It's just the log that the server is generating at that moment. We'll check if a pilot enters, if one leaves, if there's any server issue, monitor everything from here. Okay. To halt the server at the upper right corner, we click on this location and select the stop option. Later, another intriguing aspect is the option to create events and save them on the server. For instance, imagine on Tuesdays we set up one circuit, on Wednesdays another, and on Thursdays another circuit. Instead of creating the event daily, we can store them and initiate them at our convenience, rather than doing it every day. For example, I have this one created here. We could simply give you to create a new event and here, well, we would choose all the details one by one from the server. In this case, then, the circuit, the number of sessions, the duration of each session, we have all the characteristics of that event. We can define them here, okay? Whether it's the weather, the same, the input list for using cars, let's say individual for each driver, all is done from here. The rules, the allowed assists, and here we would put, well, the name of the event, I'm going to put test and we would save it. And here they are already stored. What do we want to start the event? We simply press start. The server is starting up now. Okay, so we stop it and I'm going to show you three other very interesting tabs. So you know they exist, okay? Championship tab. The server manager interface has the capability to manage all the points associated with the championship. So we simply need to create the event. And at the conclusion of every session, server manager will automatically maintain a record of points for each driver. It will enable us, for instance, to locate penalties, schedule the races to commence on a particular day and time, which is highly beneficial. 
When the administrator is not at home that day, the server will simply start at the exact time it is supposed to. That's very good. Then the results. Here we will see all the events that have taken place on the server as we will see all the results in a detailed manner. For instance, we observe drivers with their chosen cars due to the race duration, number of laps, best lap, right? All the data is stored in this location, enabling users within our community to access and consult those results and findings. And lastly, the calendar. From the calendar, we are able to share it with the pilots and they have the ability to see the scheduled events. If I've already told you, from the championship window, we schedule the events they will appear here and you'll be able to see the drivers at what time of the week each event occurs. Well, this has been a very rapid tour. I will attempt to create more elaborate videos if there are any uncertainties about specific functions. Thank you very much and you can leave me a comment and I will solve it as soon as possible. Thank you very much.